Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't been here before, we are Creative Gen. I'm Jo. And I'm Ash. And if you have been here before, welcome back, guys. Hiya. Thanks for continuing to watch, as always. So, today we are currently in Pai. In Pai? Uh, we've just been on a, well, we got on a bus last night from Chiang Mai to Pai. It took about three and a half hours. That's it. And now we're here. And we were Googling all the things that we need to do in Pai while we're here. There's so much stuff to do in Pai. So You've got much. waterfalls, canyons. We're never going to Bamboo rafting, in. caves, you've you've got so much to do. So we're going to try and film as much as we can over the next two or three days to show you everything there is to do and you can choose what you want to do. Yeah, so the first thing we've done is we've come off the beaten track a little bit. I don't think this is in most of the tours, but I'm not sure. We've rented a bike for 200 baht uh, for a day and then we've just bought our tickets to come to this waterfall, which is, which is called Mo Pieng Waterfall. And it's 100 baht per person. Yeah. whereby a little waterfall, but if you look at the top, there's a pipe that's feeding it down. So it's not made. So it's not a natural waterfall. We've been here about 10 minutes and I think we're done. Yeah. So, so far, I don't recommend this one. We, uh, jumped back on the bike, drove about 15 minutes. Up some really steep hills. To the Nun Lai viewpoint. Do you like how I let her pronounce them? Cost us 20 baht per person to come in to have some pictures, but I'm also really thirsty, so I'm gonna get a drink. Uh, there's some really cute tents just over there, so you can camp on the field. Apparently it's 400 baht per night to camp on the field. Yep. So once again, we've come to this beautiful place and to be fair, he has actually behaved for a very long time, but he's just spotted some fish. Definitely, definitely come here. So we found that there was a little orange farm not far from the viewpoint where we were just at. We had so a look on Google, top things to do, and this is one of them. So, yeah. so we thought we'd come, but the roads are a little bit like this. And, and, and no one's here. <laughs> no one's here. So it's like a giant hand with a big orange on the end of it. And uh, I think behind us is like a little tunnel where the oranges go. So let's go see if we can get an orange, guys. We found the orange field farm thing and um, we're just walking down the most stable bridge ever. Bamboo bridge. Walking down the bamboo bridge to uh, look at all the oranges. Um, it's pretty cool actually, there's no one here. Really I love cool. I love places where no one is. It's the best thing ever. Um, and so far it's cost us 0 0.00 yeah. baht. So I think that there's meant to be like little tours and stuff that you can come on at this orange farm as well because there's um, lots of like little hats and baskets and things. So I think you can come and like pick oranges as well, but I don't know how because we just went to ask if we could just buy a few oranges and they said no. Um, this is an orange farm. Um, but yeah, so we can't buy any. So I don't know whether if you guys come here, maybe you could go on a little tour, but just a little walk around us. No oranges, really nice I want a fresh orange. Let's right, go. Next place. We're on the road again. Hey guys. Hey. So we've been to the big Buddha. Well, big Buddha? That's no, okay. We've been to the, the, the white Buddha. Um, 
we, it was that good that we forgot to even vlog there, so. We ended up just sitting and watching the sunset, it was beautiful. And then we've jumped back on the bike and we're trying to head just to one last place before we head home. And uh, We've had to stop for this amazing view. I mean, the camera does not do it justice. But take look. a look at this. Um, look at the color of the sky. Take a look at this Instagram photo. Yeah. So we are just driving to the next place. Yeah. We had a look on our little map and the next closest thing is called something romance in pie or something. But I wanted to tell you guys that just rent a bike. It's uh, 200 baht for a day. Um, Cheers, that's And yeah, that's one of the best things to do is just drive around and just see all the sights. However, uh, make sure you get an international driver's license. Permit, uh, not license. An permit. international driving permit. Uh, it costs five pounds uh, for a UK uh, citizen. You can get them at your own uh, post office or your own embassy kind of thing. But yeah, yeah. make sure you get them because the laws passed this year. And if you get stopped, it's five hundred baht fine. So we shall see. Get a license. Tuk -tuk. Tuk -tuk. Sat nav said we couldn't go this way. Jody and Ash nav, on the other hand, said that we can. So we've ended up coming completely on the back roads with all these beautiful, beautiful scenes. This is what traveling is all about. Well, this is why it's not on the sat-nav. How have we ended up here? Are you ready? Oh dear. Hold on. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> so we made it, guys, to the I Am Pie. It's right pie. there, all reversed. I am pie right there um, as the last little stop. And there's yeah. a lovely little cap, uh, coffee shop if you want to go called Cal Coffee and Love. Don't think we're going to go, I think we're going to go no, home. No, I'm ready for food. food. So, so yeah, that's our, what a busy, busy that's our day done, day. guys. We're going to uh, go into the centre now and go for some food. Yeah. And go for a nice drink. Yeah, and we'll take you with us. And I'm very, very impressed with what I have to offer so far. <laughs> that looks like the most dodgiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ah! <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Oh dear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Also, hit that bell to stay notified. And you can head over to our Instagram, it's Creative Ginge, for top travel tips and advice. See you next time. Peace out, Creative Ginge.